everyone, Liam Cattleson here, and today we're on episode 4 of season 5 for Orphan Black, which is called Let the Children and Child Bearers Toil. Last time out, incredible stuff. It was really, really... Uh, I don't like where the season's going, actually, because it's been very, very emotional. Like, the first three episodes have had an ounce of emotional uh, presence. Uh, like, I don't know. I mean, a lot of Orphan Black episodes can deliver emotionally, but... Um, there's been some emphasis on emotion this season, um, especially the last two episodes where MK's death was very, very prominent, as well as the fact that they reflected on that in the, the last episode, of course. And, you know, you just felt so bad for Ali in the last episode, especially with how she feels, um, she feels useless and she wants to find her purpose, and it seems like she's left to try and find her happy zone as well, so... Um, yeah, I'm hoping that this isn't, you know, an emotional episode, but I have also been warned, you know, just to prepare and all that, so... I think that was with MK, actually, like, she was rising up there to be one of my favourite, um, clones, and then, you know, she just, uh, she then disappeared, and then she reappeared, and like, and then she disappeared again, and then she appeared for that one episode to get killed off, so, yeah. Bummer. But yeah, with that said, let's go on with episode 4 of season 5 for Orphan Black. Let's go. I'm not dead. Why? Because I need you. Yeah, so it's like she's got a purpose. Oh no. Oh boy. But I bet she wished she was now that, you know, Westmoreland's basically got a big control over her. I'm just worried. I'm just worried. I am. Oh God! There's a tooth. Hey! You shouldn't be here. Come on. Yeah, I was gonna say. Get... Uh oh. Hurry. Nothing. No. Oh. What the hell? Nothing. Let me go. What did she do? Hey. Ooh, oh this God. is gonna push Sarah. Was was that her? Like with the knife? I wanted to see how fast I could heal. There's that entry crying out loud. Can I please go It's still heal? worrying, you're a little kid. Um, to be fair, you don't mind um, you, I you don't you know the blame the her for Just reacting like time. Sarah reacting like that. In eighteen ninety four. He disappears into the jungles of Borneo, never to be heard from again. Presumed dead, 1898. Until he reemerges, obviously. It's all here. I cracked your email. And the window is today only. Mm-hmm. Vicky, he's but been through get. World War. I'm not a child. Stop acting like one. It's not always about you. You're just. <gasps> oh! Uh, oh my. Are you alright? I'm. Oh, so of course. Sorry. Of course. You're in town for some case studies from a book, a place out of town. Let me give you a card. You know what? Don't go. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll let's not. Let's it. not. No. Let's not. Take it anyway. Oh. You never know. Calm down. Are we? I'm just back to say you keep drinking. Listen. Good. Good. Your daughter is struggling on the threshold of what it means to become you. Remember that. Oh, and how that does resonate. I'm going to make them talk. How did bloody hell wizard figure that out? Well, he didn't, but he found Perkins. So who found the defector? Who's feeding you info close to PT? You always do this. I rarely do this. It's... All right. If I tell him, then I'm going to make a stop. Where? <sighs> Convent, man. That is where Helene was staying at, isn't it? You're jealous. Nonsense. He's fossilized. <laughs> you, know, you shouldn't be walking. Just oh, how the tables have turned. What happened between you two? Years ago, he chose another path, another scientist. Someone who was willing oh. to do the things I wouldn't. And he let. <laughs> hey! 
Okay. At the welcome I was hoping for. Where's the sibling love? Oh my god. I didn't ever expect doing? to see her back. <laughs> I'm waiting for my cocktail. I was curiously Shit, I thought, was, uh, I thought that was I thought that was the last everything? we saw of her. <laughs> Probably not. She did shed some light on those many sisters of yours. She did not. Close. Oh Jesus Christ, what a trip. She had no right to do that. So she now she's hey. now aware. Okay. Clunk you know what? Hello. She trusted me. You should share our quarters with her. God, I don't want involved in the situation. But she will have to, you know this. And now she's more curious than ever. Wasn't a good sister to you. Yes. We tried to kill each other. No, no. Is it like what I want? <laughs> I avoided you. My twin, my other self. You scared me. Because of what you felt. Another, another, you know. You knew we were connected. I think this old man and Rachel, after babies, we will kill them. No, you're gonna take care of your baby. See how late. I wanna see how late. Go. I don't know. My cuss. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy Dr. Perkins. I mean, it's not rocket science. Your problems with your daughter trace back to your relationship with your own mother. It's not bad. I've got Good a job is this? My assistant. Holy crap, I just love that. She actually. And you know her too. Do, do we know? I'm assuming so. Hello, Virginia. This bitch! Is that, sir? Yeah, she's just not just a stayer, she is closely with you. Our ring, man, it's done. I'm wondering if that's the thing that keeps him... ...to live longer or something like that. Because he's not Jesus. Psycho. Oh, I have not missed you, bitch! Oh! from her. Go on, Sarah. The soldiers and the women that they infected. Yeah, but she's gonna tell us about PT. She said, "Keep it cool." But this is Cody. Tell us who it was. You know, put me here, Sarah. What the? Think. When Castor fell, Lita won. Susan Duncan. How did that happen? I was young. Mm. P.T. and Susan were the Westmoreland's original obsession. But too many mistakes were made. The thing in the forest! Mistakes! Oh my god! Oh! You can't be here. You need to leave place? right what now. Is this, place? is this where he lives? Well, she wasn't really being stealthy. That's Sarah's job. What? Who is he? Through here! Not being discreet oh is god. much. Surely P.T. should have heard that. A child. A beautiful child. Oh. A unique genome. We tried to unlock it, but I've never been squeamish. So we pushed forward. And we created a monster. That thing in the forest. So, yeah, I was right. That was one of the things that... My... Um... It's that Mike. Susan couldn't forgive P.T. over. Hey, you. So cold. I thought you could use this. That's the kid they experimented on, isn't it? All grown up. Because it, cause it sounds like, yeah, it took you place where... It's just me. 
That was our experimentation. Because he did say it was um, a kid and it would have grown up, of course. I took Castor, she took Lita, and PT kept the two of us apart. Well, then again, she ha has always been heartless. Yeah, can you can you two come with me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh my god, this is revenge, isn't it? Oh. She. Yeah, we need to. We, we need to strap her up. These six different subsidiaries of Neolution registered in Switzerland. So we start there. Follow the money. Adele needs you. Your quick study. You're a Adele's involved in this now. Awesome. We do this as a family. Well, you are. Access to all Rachel's new data on Kira's anomaly. Very well. It's a means of access. Nothing hidden. No more secrets. It's a means to help for the better, isn't it? Rachel has the reins. So, to the future. Oh. So that was quite an informative episode, especially regarding that person that attacked Sarah was actually the first, I guess, choice on the human cloning experiment, but things went a bit south and uh, we got a, a bit more of a look that uh, on, you know, what attacked Sarah, of course. Um, to be fair, I thought it was going to be a bit more monstrous. I mean, he, of course, he suffered um, with what he's had to undergo, with the tumours, with everything. Uh, he got sick, of course, as described by Cody's um, uh, description, which was a nice surprise to see as well. Um, but, yeah, it, it was just really, really interesting seeing her lash out, of course. Um, and, you know, Sarah, you know, them two pummeling at each other. After the shit Cody pulled, though, she deserves more than a slap around the face. But, um, <laughs> I hate her. I hate her after, you know, she was basically involved in Paul's death. But, yeah, uh, as I was saying, we got, a, we got quite a bit of juicy information, of course. Um, especially with how, um... Susan, you know, she's no saint either, of course, well, uh, with her experimentations, of course, but, you know, compared to, it's, it's what I've imagined, I mean, compared to Cody and Westmoreland, she is really the lesser of two evils, and I've always, uh, I've always had that kind of vibe, I mean, yes, it, she had that kind of sinisterism, but it all goes back to Evie, of course, when Evie drove her out. Uh, Evie took more... I guess Evie was on the Westmoreland... Um, Westmoreland and, I guess, Cody Bandwagon, and because she was taking extreme means as well. Uh, like, she didn't really feel sympathetic to the babies, I guess. Um, um, com like, compared to my voice is over, like, this is, or Ed Kasima's about how, you know, hurtful this procedure is, uh, witnessing it. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, Cody and Westmoreland are really, don't really have much, I guess, sympathy, because it, it, it did explain that Susan did not approve of their, you know, rash methods, and it was just, you know, really, really interesting to, you know, pick up all of that information. I do feel like this was a really, really good info um, kind of drop episode, maybe, uh, you could describe that as. I mean, it wasn't as, you know, um, packed, I guess, uh, with, uh, the, like, the, I, I don't know how to describe it, but, it, I mean, you know, action, we're always going to see that with Orphan Black, but, you know, it, it does feel different compared to the other three episodes, of course, like, we were left to absorb a lot of information, especially about, about, you know, the past, uh, a bit, a bit of backstory, should I say, with uh, Neil Lucian, of course, and how there was that divorce, considering Susan was not really on board with Cody's actions, and, you know, we had that divorce, like, uh, Cody was uh, commandeering Caster, leader for uh, the Duncans, and I guess, you know, with Westmoreland in the hell for everything, he assigned those projects to keep them apart, so there's no, like, bickering going on. Uh, you know, they answer basically to him, 
but you know to, we can't it, it's basically it, it's like a team principle and like uh in a team sport i'm thinking f1 because you know you've got hamilton rosberg uh i know people are probably not going to get the reference but they had a really really strange relationship and there's like that's the, the, the there's like that division isn't there even though they're like one team in a sense but yeah um it, it was just very very interesting picking up everything um seeing faces as well that we never thought we'd see again not just cody but adele who's back she knows everything i guess uh about you know the clone situation and she seems to have taken it lightly as well. Like, she, she's not too fussed about it, which I thought she was going to be a bit more fussy about it, uh, considering her reactions to seeing. But then again, um, this is all on Felix, you know, saying, oh, I have a sister, I guess. Oh, there's another sister. So, yeah. Um, but no, she's taking that on the chin, it seems. And it seems like they're going to Switzerland. I'm not sure if they're going to write Felix out, I guess. Um by the comments of Adele's plan, of course, but um, it, it seems like they are going to Switzerland, of course, um, Felix, and and I'm not sure if, you know, we'll see some focus of, of Felix, because I don't want to lose Felix. I don't want to lose Felix. Um, but we've got we've to, gotta, you know, keep on the, uh, you know, focus on Westmoreland and um, his thing. Um, especially now that Susan is working with him, but I guess, you know, this is all in, in a greater aspiration in, in her eyes, of course. Like, she does, she's not, um, wanting this to go down the, you know, the, the way it did with that little boy, of course. And she's trying, she even said this is for us, basically, to, to ear us. So, which had a nice little reunion, of course. Um, but yeah. Adele back, Cody back. It was just really, really awesome. There was that beautiful Helena talk with Sarah. Because, I mean, it wasn't just Helena's speech to Sarah at the convent. Um, it was also that um, that therapist, of course, who, you know, Mrs. S, uh, that, that psychologist, should I say, who Mrs. S took the identity of. And, wow, she was just absolutely, like, it was just so bizarre seeing her like that, of course. Um, but yeah, um, it was, it was just really, really, you know, interesting about how Helena gave Sarah a kind of a pep talk, but also, um, it was that, you know, psychologist who was, you know, saying she was on the threshold or like, like, yeah, she, you get the quote, like she was, um, she's struggling at this point of becoming you, which we're seeing that with Kira, of course, like, uh. Um, with that strained relationship, of course, with Kira and Sarah at the moment, and how, you know, Kira feels a bit hurt that Sarah is not really, you know, trusting of Rachel, of course, but, of course, with, with as we've seen with Sarah and how she's, you know, how this relationship between the pair of them has is, you know, not really the best. It's not exactly Helena and, and Sarah where they kissed and made made up, despite, you know, nearly killing each other. Um, yeah, she's, she feels that hurt. So I, I just love how we're, like this season, we're, we're focusing on how Sarah and, um, uh, how Sarah is struggling. So it's really, really great. Cause like I said, it was pointed out more than once, but that speech with, you know, that confrontation with Helena and Sarah though, I mean, I always love seeing them two together anyways, but you know, it was just so warming to, to, for Helena to be the voice of reason, to, you know, be that encouraging help for Sarah. And it was just really, really beautiful stuff to see. So I just, you know, really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, we got facts about Kira harming herself as well, which, uh, again, is a nice a bit of symmetry, I guess. Um, but, you know, I guess Kira's purpose is more meaningful, like discovering who she is like i wanted to see if i you know had wolverine abilities uh all jokes aside i am a bit worried for kira this season um though i mean of course she's trusting rachel um which is worrying of course especially uh if p like if pt's plans like i don't know if if kira is kind of involved like if, she, if she, like i wouldn't say like they're going to kidnap her but that, but, you know, Rachel, uh, is taking, you know, samples and will be giving them back to her master. So, um, yeah. So if their plans 
uh, do involve Kira. It is a bit worrying, especially uh, as well as everything else, the strained relationship, the harming. It's really, really concerning, but we'll wing it. We'll wing it by the end of the season, hopefully. So, yeah, it was just really, really uh, informative. I know there was something else I wanted to touch upon uh, that I wanted to say during the reaction, but uh, it was towards the end. Um, but I kind of lost it, so, oh well. Um, yeah, there's also that bit with Kasima as well, of course, after, um, you know, she was discovering what the hell was in the forest, of course it was that. Uh, I mean, they didn't specify, but I think given by the comments, we we can, you know, 100% confirm ourselves that it's the kid just growing up, of course, because this is talking about the time before Kendall, because Kendall wasn't the first subject. Um, um, she was the first successful one, should I say, but, you know, th that um, kid was a subject, and it all just went wrong. So, yeah, so we we can just assume that it was, you know, that kid just grown up, as you usually do with human aging, don't you? Um, but yeah, Kasima as well, just infiltrating, of course. It was just really, really great seeing that, but she's no Sarah. I mean, Sarah is the master of stealth, if anything. Like, if it was Sarah in Westmoreland's home, then Mud wouldn't, you know, be freaking out at all, because, you know, like I said, like I was joking on in my last episode, Sarah's the master of infiltration, so... Yeah, I'm wondering if that thing, that Westmoreland as well, I'm, I'm just trying to have a think because I want to know what I was about to say in the reaction, but it'll just wither, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm wondering if that thing that Westmoreland is, you know, attached to, like that mud, you know, inject that, well, I wouldn't say injected, but fitted him to, it, it kind of looks like some kind of, like, I don't know, um dialysis machine, I think it was. But I don't think it's that. I think it's something to maintain his immortality, if anything. Because, you know, you've never met a human who's 170 years old. And you wonder... It's it's not like he, he picked up the amulet of life or whatever and he's holding it and it's granting immortality. So it's got to be something, you know, realistic. And I'm, I'm assuming... I mean, we say realistic, like I said, 170, not really, you know, the norm age for a human being. But um, realistic in the sense that it's the machine operating on him, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just a fun episode overall, a nice little information drop, it was nice for, to see Sarah and Mrs. S, you know, uh, work together, even staging their little kerfuffle whilst Sarah took the, um, um, purse, yeah, to get the ID from Perkins, of course, whilst, you know, Mrs. S kept her occupied, of course. And it was nice, you know, how she just slid it un uh, next to the laptop. Always look behind the laptop. That's what I do if I just misplace my SD card. It's like, oh, there it is. Um, no, but it was just really, really great to see them working together, of course. It wasn't just, you know, them, you know, stealing information, of course, because it's identity fraud, of course. It's her impersonating Perkins, but... Um, We'll let it slide because this is S. Um, it was nice seeing them two work together and it was a really, really nice partnership, of course, considering the mother-daughter thing, okay? Um, but it was just really, really great in general, like, especially when they were in the, the um, ward, of course, to confront Co uh, Cody. And I just love how she's, you know, being the light that Sarah needs at this point because Sarah is struggling. We've We've already pointed that out, but... You know, Mrs. S is there, and it's really, really nice to see, so I'm really, really, you know, grateful to have that in this episode, especially when, you know, Kira in episode two, of course, last episode was a huge focus on Ali, but Kira, I, last time out when we've had a huge focus on Sarah, you know, kind of, um, you know, didn't want to go away with Sarah, and we, uh, you know, opened up a new can of worms with this, you know, strain with um, Sarah and Kira, so she needs Mrs. S, and I really, really appreciate that, so it was just really, really, um, great stuff. Of course, Mrs. S is still being a bit, you know, shaky to Sarah, of course, with that Delphine contact thing, of course, like, uh, uh, who, you know, who fed you this information? She was like, nope, nope, so uh, it was just really, really great, but it was just really, really uh, brilliant to see them two working together in this episode. It was really great to, you know, get to the, uh, to get to Cody, get all the information 
really, really juicy stuff. So um, I'm wondering if, you know, at some point they could relay that to Cosima as well, considering Cosima's curiosity was uh, peeking throughout this episode about what the creature was. So, yeah. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check out my videos on the right if you want to check out worldwide content. You can also subscribe to my Meiji Pizza channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!